today we are going to discuss about link and its types so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management let's start from the link a link is a resistant body that constitute parts of the machine so here you can see this one is the ic engine having different resisting body connecting other parts which have relative motion so here you can see this one is a piston and this one is the cylinder and having a relative motion so both are considered as a link in short it is a resistant body that means link is a resistant body forming part of a machine here you can see these are the different links forming part of a machine having relative motion to other connected parts now let's see what is the meaning of resistant body a body is said to be resistant if it is capable of transmitting required force with negligible deformation resistant bodies used for transmitting motion and forces in machine next purpose of link to transmit motion here you can see to guide the link here you can see the cylinder guides the piston for the reciprocating motion and to support the machine that is generally called as frame next types of link there are basically three types of the links rigid link flexible link and fluid link so let's see one by one these three different link so let's start from the first rigid link while transmitting motion and force if link does not undergo any change of shape then it is called as rigid link like connecting rod crankshaft etc so here you can see this one is the connecting rod and the shaft that is perpendicular to this plane is known as crankshaft next flexible link a flexible link is a resistant link that undergoes partial deformation when transmitting motion here you can see there is a partial deformation when transmitting motion but it does not affect the transmission of motion and here you can see it will deform a little bit while passing through this sprocket like chain belt spring etc next third one fluid link a link which transmits motion by compression or pressure of the fluid here you can see and in this figure this is the fluid and due to the pressure on the fluid it will work like as a link and that transmit the motion so once again a link which transmits motion by compression or pressure of fluid like hydraulic brake so this one is the hydraulic brake that is acting on this wheel and here you can see due to the pressure of the fluid it will work and so that it will stop this is also the hydraulic brake due to the pressure of the fluid the brake will execute if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video